On today's video, we're going to be putting AR-500 armor plate to the test. Oh! <laughs> Machining should not be this much fun. <laughs> that was insane! This is AR-500 abrasion resistant steel. Now this stuff's used in a lot of armoring applications for things like tanks, mining equipment, and armored personnel carriers. Most of the time when they're using this stuff as an armor, it's only like a quarter inch or a half inch thick. So we brought in a one inch piece to see what it's capable of. A one inch thick piece of this stops a 50 cal high explosive incendiary round with armor piercing tungsten core. The first thing you'll notice about this stuff is that it's super heavy and super solid. The AR in AR-500 stands for abrasion resistant, and that's why they use it for things like gun range targets, armored personnel carriers, tanks, mining equipment, anywhere where you need superior resistance to wear. I'm pretty scared, man. I mean, I have destroyed a lot of machines and tools in my past, and I'm not looking forward to destroying anything else today. I don't know what's going to happen. All right, so for our first operation, we're coming in with our 8-inch face mill. Now we're using general purpose inserts and I'm not sure how they're going to react to a material that's this tough. Hopefully I don't end up having to flip 22 inserts or end up with a nice hole in our glass. Oh man, the coolant ain't hitting the inserts. It's too late now. All right, so based on the way that face mill handled this material, we're gonna come in with our FBX drill now as if this was a hardened material. Now this isn't just a normal drill. This drill requires a huge amount of torque. And with a material as tough as this, if we fail, we're not just gonna fail a little bit. This will be a catastrophic failure. Oh, this drill is terrifying. I swear, if it rips that stock out of the vise, it's coming through the door. All right, so we made it through that hole. I'm pretty shocked. I mean, that tool is a complete monster. Now we're going to come in with our 984 drill, which also has general purpose inserts. Now, even though this drill is smaller, we could still end up having a catastrophic failure here where our drill body ends up being just a pile of magma. All right, here we go. General purpose inserts, hole number one. Let's see what happens. Now, something to add is that these inserts are general purpose inserts, and this material is around 450 to 550 Brunel. All right, so we just made it through 10 holes with that indexable drill. Now it's time to come in with our Harvey 3 Arrow end mill, and this is a beast tool, but this is some beast material. I kind of feel like a 100,000 step over might have been a little bit too much, but let's see. Something that I want to point out is when we're finishing these holes, we're only going 10 inches a minute. And that's because we have a three quarter tool that's going into a one inch hole. So there's not much room in there. So if we were to go too fast, it's just going to rip material out of the hole and we want a good finish. can see as tough as this material is when it comes to things like armor it really doesn't stand a chance against the CNC machine now I'm not saying this material is any joke you'll notice that I'm running coolant this time oh man we got some pretty good finishes here so we had a lot of comments in our videos asking us to try our methods and our machines and our tools in hard ox or AR-500 material. Now you can take a look at this part and see that we were 100% successful. As tough as this material is, our machines and our tooling are tougher. 
So there you guys have it. AR500 really isn't that bad to machine. It can sound intimidating because people are always talking about how tough it is, but as you can see, we were able to make it through this whole part without doing any damage to our cutting tool whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys again next time. All right, Ben, you good? Yeah, good. Corey, you good? Y'all good? Here we go. Our 316 stainless part. God almighty. All right, so for all you people to get in our comments and say, why no cooling? Well, it's because you can't see a thing on camera when we use it.